What's going on guys, Mental Outlaw here, and as you can see, we're in Vim again today. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about tabs in Vim, as well as how to open and save files in different ways. Now, Vim does have tabs, just like many other text editors do. Um, with Vim, in order to deal with the tabs, we have to use a command though, because there's no, you know, there's no button to just click on to open a new tab. Uh, you know, you can do this file open tab, but that's not actually a tab in Vim, that's a tab in my terminal. So, the way that we would open up a new tab in Vim is of course using a command. So we need our colon from normal mode and the command is tab new, which will go ahead and open a new tab to the right of whatever the last tab that you were just working with was. And we can navigate between these tabs. So we can do tab previous to go back to the previous tab and we can do tab next to go back to the next tab. And we can also abbreviate these commands a little bit. Vim gives you a lot of leeway with command abbreviations so you don't actually have to type everything. So the abbreviated way would be to do tab P to go back and then tab N in order to go forward. Now, as you can see in this tab here, the name of it is no name. And this is because there isn't actually any file open here. Like if we go back, you could see that this one's called working with files.txt because this is of course a file that I created. It's this one right over here, but this one doesn't actually have a file name yet. So what if we were to start, you know, inputting some text here and then you wanted to save this, but you wanted to also be able to give it a file name. Well, our command to save is write. And in order to give it a name, all we simply have to do is hit space and then type whatever we want the name of that file to be. So we'll just call it well, this is a bunch of junk, so we'll just call it junk1.txt. And so you can see that it got the name there, junk1.txt. And just to show you guys that there's no tricks, I have a file manager open over here where you can also see that junk1 was created. Now, when we are inside of Vim, we can open up a file from inside of here. The command for us to do that is edit. And by the way, edit can be shortened to just the letter E. And one thing that I didn't show you guys back over here, when you write the file, you don't have to type out write the whole way. You can also just do W. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that to you guys. I'm gonna do W and you can see that it is written. And also in the write message here, Vim tells you what gets written. So you can see one L meaning one line and then 49C meaning 49 characters were written to junk1.txt. Now anyway, to go back to opening up the file we would do that with the edit command. Now, I can see what the names of all of these different files are here. I'm currently inside of this directory, but what if none of this was open? What if we didn't have a GUI there and we were just inside of Vim full screen? How would we know what we want to open? because typically in GUI text editors like gedit, you would go to file open and then that whole file manager would appear showing you the different files. You can find them by just typing in edit or in this case we'll do E, which does the same thing, just shorthand. We'll do a space and then we'll hit tab. 
And this is going to output all of the files that are in that current directory. I'll go ahead and put this side by side again so you guys can see that there's no tricks here. So we have our E, I'll tab, didn't mean to do that, um, E and then tab, there we go. So you can see everything that is inside of here shows up the same and Vim is even nice enough to put this directory test here in blue so that I know that it is not a file, it is a directory. Even if this wasn't present though, I could tell that it's a directory because it has that forward slash at the end of it. So we'll type E and then we'll open up, uh, let's do lesson one. So now you can see that this is our same file that we had from our first Vim editor tutorial. We went ahead and we opened it up there. Now, Vim also supports the ability for you to open up tabs, I mean, for you to open up files that are in a different directory. So we'll go ahead and test this out in our test directory. I don't actually have anything in here, so let's just create a document, empty file, we'll call it blah. And in order for me to open blah, I need to specify the directory that it's in. So I can do that by hitting E, and then of course I can see what's there, and I know that I want what's in the test folder. So I'll start typing out test, and you can tab to do auto completions in Vim, just like you would in Bash. And inside of test, I want blah, and it automatically does it with uh, tab. If I didn't have anything, or if I had multiple files inside of here, then I could do another tab here and it would list what's inside of this test directory, but because I just have blah, tab is gonna automatically go to blah because that's the only option. And then I can go ahead and open it, and then of course there's no text here. So let's put some in just to show that there's no tricks, and you can see that blah has the same text that I just put here over in here. Now that we have a few different tabs open, I'm gonna show you a couple more ways that you guys can manage your tabs. So maybe you want to go from this blah tab all the way back to the working with files tab. Well, you don't have to do tab P three times in order to do that. Well, actually, no, it'd be two times, right? Yeah, two times. Instead of doing tab P two times, we can just type tab first, and this will automatically jump us back to the first tab. And we can also do the opposite by doing tab last, which will automatically jump us back to this previous tab. And we can move our tabs around as well. So maybe we don't want blah to be here at the very end. Maybe we want to actually move blah to the beginning. Our command for that is tab move. And then the number for where you want it to go. And as you may have guessed, those of you out there that do uh, computer programming or are just really nerdy and mess with computers a lot, of course, our positions start at zero. So position one, as we would normally think uh, as humans with counting numbers, is actually position zero. So we're gonna move it there. And now you can see that blah has moved over here to before working with files. And we can also move it back by doing tab, um, I think in this case we have to do tab four, right? Oh, wait, not tab four, tab move four. There we go, so now we have it back. Now, to answer the question that is often a meme in Vim, which is how do you actually quit Vim? What if I don't want to save any of my stuff? What if I just want to quit? Well, the way that we would do that is with Q. Q allows us to quit. Now, since 
we wrote to the file, it's going to tell us that there's no write since the last change add exclamation point to override. So basically, this is Vim trying to be nice and tell us, hey, you just tried to quit out of a file that you wrote stuff to, but it's not saved. Well, the way that we would go ahead and do that is Q and then an exclamation point. And if you want to save your file and then also quit out of it, we can combine those write and quit commands with WQ. So this is going to save blah and then quit out of it. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I know it's short. There wasn't really too much to cover with tabs and opening and saving files. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. For now, make sure you subscribe so that you get notifications when the next videos come out, and share this with your friends if you think they would find it useful. Peace out, guys.